Let somebody know what day it is. It's hump day. Yeah. We halfway through the week, man. The rest of the week is all downhill. You know, a lot of cats around here bumping their gums, man. Talking about, you know, they doing this and they doing that. You know, they got it going on over here. You know, they dabbling over there. But a lot of people just talk, man. You know what I'm saying? Where is your light? Can anybody see your light shining? That's the real question. You dig? Living your life to such a degree that even your children can see your light. I'm not talking about they see you do, do the daily grind. You know, taking care of the household, providing the food and the clothes and getting them back and forth. But do they see the light in your attitude? Do they see the light in how you respond to others? How you respond to them? You know what I'm saying? How you respond to God? <laughs> People talking about this and talking about that. Where is your light, bruh, bruh? You know what I'm saying? If you dim and, and ain't nobody looking when you come in the room, ain't nobody stopping their conversation. If ain't nobody stopping what they doing, because your light is so bright that it gets everybody's attention. If ain't nobody changing their attitude, watching how they speak and how they move around you. If, if no one feels like when you come around, if they don't feel no peace and they don't feel no love and they don't feel no joy, you know what I'm saying? When your presence is in the space, Something is wrong. You dig? What could be wrong? <laughs> your light, bruh. Or sis. You know what I'm saying? Your light. We sing that song all the time. Walk in the light. The beautiful light. Right? But are you really walking in the light? That beautiful light. Can people see it on the inside of you? You know what I'm saying? Can, can they feel the heat? Can they feel the love? Can they feel the sincerity that's coming from your light? That's the question. That's what we're going to talk about today. You know what I find, man? I find that there's a lot of people out here that want to be seen. You dig? They want to be seen. Um, they want to be heard. You know, they're, they're seeking approval and acceptance from others. You know, um, they're looking for something. They're looking for people to come to them and turn to them and, and seek out what they got to say and their advice and, and their two cents on it. But if you ain't got no light behind what you're saying, then what you're saying is kind of sort of like a waste. Hey, I'm just saying, if the words that are coming out of your mouth is not capturing nobody's sight, Ain't nobody seeing you because you ain't saying nothing. Ain't nobody seeing you because your light ain't shining. It's not shining bright. Ain't nobody seeing you. You dig? Because you're not illuminated. You're not studying to show yourself approved. You're not fasting and praying. You know what I'm saying? You're not testifying about what God has delivered you from and what he's doing in your life. So where is your light? How can people see your light? That's a problem. It's not only a problem in our job, but it's a problem in our homes. You know what I'm saying? Our kids are watching us. Are you living your life to such a degree that even your children can see your light? I'm not talking about they see you do, do the daily grind. You know, taking care of the household, providing the food and the clothes and getting them back and forth. But do they see the light in your attitude? Do they see the light in how you respond to others? How you respond to them? You know what I'm saying? How you respond to God? <laughs> Can your light be seen? That's the whole question. Because if your light can't be seen, then you're not helping nobody. I'm not talking about doing these great big grandiose things I'm talking about on a day to day grind when you going from point A to point B doing your thing can people see your light 
when they see you coming, do they light up and smile? When they see you coming, you know, do, do, do they greet you and want to talk to you? Are they drawn to you? Do they see the Christ in you? That's what it means to have the light on the inside that people can see. Are they drawn to the light because they're in darkness? They walking around in darkness, in their heart, in their mind, in their spirit. They're in a dark place and they looking for the light, but they ain't looking for no phony light. They looking for some real deal holy field light. Bro, can you illuminate my situation? Can you help me out of this dark place? Can you take me by the hand and lead me? Because the light is in you and it's not quenched. It's bright and it's burning hot. And when people get close to you, they can feel the anointing on you. You know what I'm saying? When people get close to you, they want you to pray for them and speak a blessing into their life. It's the light of Christ in you. Check this out. I may not be the best looking. I may not be the most well-spoken. I may do some things that are questionable in other people's minds. But what I do know is that I pray that the light of Christ is in me and it shines through me where people can see it. Because what's the point in saying you have it? Oh, I got the light, <laughs> but can't nobody see it. It's kind of like a waste of time, right? So, let's have the light in us. Let's study to show ourselves approved. Let's give our own desires over to Christ. You dig? Let's be the ones that set on that hill, right? That That is, it can't be hid because we're shining so bright. And because we're set on that hill that where the darkness is, everyone that's in the darkness, they can look up to the hill. Right? As we as we look unto the hills from which cometh our help, they can look unto the hill to where they see that light. And they know that if I can just get to that light, because you are the light, and I am the light. Now we gotta walk in that light. You dig? Listen, in the book in the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 16, right? It says, Let us so walk, right? Let us walk in such a way that our light shines so bright that men can see it, right? Let us walk in such a way that men can see our light shining. And when they see our light, they'll glorify God, which is in heaven. That's how we're supposed to walk in such a way, right? Not that just because people know we say and we love the Lord and we profess Christ, a whole lot of people say stuff and profess stuff. I don't mean nothing. What are you doing? Right? You know, what have you done for me lately? What are you doing? Forget all that talking and what you're saying. What are you doing? Are you living up to what you're saying? Right? Let your light shine so. This is what the scripture says. It's, it's not saying just let your light shine. It's saying, listen. Let your light shine in such a way. What does that mean? So shine. I mean, it's one thing to shine. We understand when something's bright, right? And it's shining. But what does it mean to so shine? What does it mean to shine so intently, so brightly? You dig? What is that so shine? You know, when you, when, when you fall in love, right? You know, you have... You know, you get all these feelings in your stomach, right? And and you're all bubbly on the inside and, and you glowing. You know what I'm saying? You're shining. You know what I'm saying? You're in love. You're shining. You dig? You know what that feels like. So when you so shining, that means, you know, you're not just in love. People can see the glow. They can they can see, you know, you happy. They can see, you know, uh, uh, somebody treating you right. You dig? But when you so shine, that means even when you ain't trying to shine, you can't help it. You dig? You gonna shine. That means <laughs> when you so in love with someone that it's not only evident that you're in love, but 
This person is just always on your mind, in your thoughts. You're talking about them all the time. You, you're uplifting them. You're sharing all these things with any and everybody that will listen to you. That's that so shine. That's that extra and above. That's that going beyond. You dig? We ought to love Christ so much that we shine. But not just shine like a regular shine, but that we so shine. Right? Let it be so obvious. Let it be so intentional <laughs> that men will see it and they'll be like, wow. They'll be flabbergasted. They'll be amazed. They'll be like, oh my. Man, I ain't never seen someone living the example of walking in the light like this. I've never seen someone let their light shine to such a degree. It says, let your light shine so, right? Let your light so shine. Not just shine, but let it so shine. Let it be so incredibly bright and hot and anointed and blessed that men who are not saved will look at you and say, wow, how can I get that? Wow. Can you share some of that? Wow. Can you direct me of how I can get mine? You dig? And that's where we are to direct them and show them, yo, listen, the same light I have, you can have. Pray the sinner's prayer with them and welcome them into the family and then watch their light start to shine. Because that's how we're supposed to walk in such a way that people are drawn to us. You dig? They're not repelled by us. They don't, when they see us coming, turn their way. Oh, man, here come that save, dude. Oh, man, here they come talking all that, talking that Jesus stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have some people like that. They just don't want to hear the word. And when they see you coming, they go out the other way. But that's because your light is shining so bright. <laughs> That that light that's coming from you and from your lifestyle is causing conviction in their life. You dig? And so when you come around, they, they want to run from the light. But that's okay. You keep shining and you keep being the light. Because as we walk and be the light, we'll draw, right? We'll draw men because of the Christ in us. It's not OB drawing anybody. OB is toe up. You dig? But because I'm a new creature in him, I know it's not me that's drawing men. It's his love that's in me. It's his light that's in me that's drawing men and women and children. You dig? So therefore, they can hear about Christ. They can learn about Christ and they can accept Christ. And then they too can take that light that's in them and let it begin to burn so bright to where People will look at them and be like, man, man, what they got? Man, I want some of that. That's what I'm talking about. That's how our light should shine in this world. You dig? So listen, on this Wisdom on Wednesday, just want to come drop some knowledge about shining your light and letting your light shine so much and to such a degree that men will say, wow, and they'll glorify your God that's in heaven because of how you're being such a representation of him in the earth. You dig? Listen, be blessed on today. Remember, Lamele E, love, uplift, motivate, inspire, learn, laugh, encourage, and delight. Lamele E.com. Go get your merch like this original Lamele E logo t-shirt. You dig? And subscribe to the channel. It don't cost you nothing to subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you never miss a video. You dig? And share this on all your platforms. Share with your mama, your cousin and them, your friends, your pastor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your friends that are out there that, 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 that need to hear this word and they don't know Christ. Share it. And you ain't got to be all preachy and, and all that. Just say, yo, man, I got a video I want to share with you. Uh, can I send it to you? And just send them the video. So... Be blessed on this Wisdom on Wednesday. This is your man, LaVon. This has been LaVon Says. Thank you again for joining me on my channel. And remember, one love, your man, LaVon. 
，好不好？